outfielder of the Phillies. Richie burns up plenty of energy in nine innings. You look tired. I am. How about your regular big league bracer? I'm on the way now. Come along. That does it. A Gillette shave is a bracer for sure. That figures. And what's more, Gillette shaves are quick, easy, and yes, sir, good looking. What's going on, everyone? Mike O back, and today's the day that I do my Richie Ashburn PC showcase. Over the last year, I've collected all of his major playing day cards, and I uh, finally finished that up a month or so ago, so really happy to uh, finally be able to show it off to everyone. Got a few other cards as well. There's always more to collect. There's tons of little off-brand stuff and things that have come out that I would love to add to the collection at some point, but for now, I'm happy with the collection I've amassed. want to share it with you. We're starting off with a 1996 start and lineup card. It's from the Cooperstown Collection. This came out following his induction into the Hall of Fame in 1995 when he was inducted with Mike Schmidt, for a uh, fellow Philly great. That was uh, quite the time for the Phillies in Cooperstown. Steve Carlton also went in right around that time. I believe it was the year before, so it was pretty awesome. This is actually a card that I had in my collection as a kid way back uh, when I was collecting starting lineups. So I thought the card looked really nice. I thought it had a shot at a 10. Obviously a little more likely to get a 9, and that is what it got. It got a PSA Mint 9, but a beautiful looking card. Uh, a really neat one and a fine addition to any Phillies fan or Richie Ashburn collector's collection. Also have an autograph here I'll show off before I get into the playing day cards. This is from 1982 Big League Collectibles. It's SGC certified autograph. Um, cool looking card. Has the blue Sharpie signature. There's not a ton of Ashburn stuff with the blue Sharpie signatures. I mean, anything that is signed by him for the most part are some of these cards that came out in the 80s or so. Uh, the playing day cards are usually... Uh, ballpoint pen which just honestly does not look all that great but uh this was a neat one got it pretty cheap and thought it was a fine addition to the collection so now we'll showcase the cards from his playing days so we're going to go in reverse order so we'll start with his final release in 1963 tops featured as a new york met it's a psa 7 really nice card 63 is a Cool looking set. This is a decent photograph of him. Outside of the fact that he's wearing a Mets uh, hat as a Phillies fan, that's never going to be your favorite, but it is, uh, it's a neat card. It's a fitting final card for Richie Ashburn, who finished up his career in New York with the Mets and also had a stint with the Cubs as well. This right here is my least favorite card of Ashburn. It's 1962 Tops. Not a tremendous fan of 62 Tops design. I mean, I don't dislike it either, but this photograph is just awful. They could have 100 photographs laying on a table, and you would have to think that this would be about the worst one and the last one you'd use. Just goofy looking. Doesn't have any type of logo. Um, doesn't have, you know, the uniform really anything indicating what team he's with and it's just a bizarre i mean photo i mean his lip and tongue i, I don't know what's going on there but it's just weird uh, this is a psa 5.5 um certainly my least favorite but one that of course you need to have in that set run here's a nice one here it's 1961 tops really like 61 tops design this is a psa 6 overall pretty sharp looking card there is a little mark there on his cheek, so that's kind of the thing that, to me that takes away from it the most. But 61 tops, um, you can get fairly cheap. So eventually, I picked up this 8.5, so stunning, uh, stunning condition there for a 61 tops card, in my opinion. Not perfectly centered, but pretty darn well. And uh, Ashburn cards, in general, aren't overly expensive to begin with. And his later uh, cards are certainly very affordable, especially if you can catch them at auction. You can you can do really well. You can get them at very, very reasonable prices. So that's a neat one there. 
Then his other Cubs card is from 1960 Tops, which is a design I really like. 60 Tops and a PSA 6. Just a cool looking card. Nice photograph um, of his face right there. Action shot to the left. Gotta love that little Cubs logo, that vintage Cubs logo on the bottom left. Just a really cool design, a lot of color. Really neat one there. Now we get into the Phillies selection. And it starts in 59 with this dual NL Hitting Kings, Ashburn and Mays. Really awesome card there in a PSA 6. Just a huge fan. Two Hall of Famers for the price of one. Really neat. So I like that one a lot. You can see the back has a lot of information about these two fantastic players. So that's a cool one. So cool that I had to pick up a second one, of course. It's a PSA 7. So in the 50s, there's a lot of these kind of dual cards with uh, greats of the time. So they're neat pickups and generally um, fairly affordable. All right, here's a 59 tops, PSA 5. Always liked 59 tops. Uh, just like the font, like the design. Love that little logo on the bottom left-hand side. Generally pretty good photographs. Facsimile signature. A lot of nice color. So sweet one there. Got 1958 tops in a PSA 5. So it looks pretty solid. Decent looking uh, card overall. 1958 tops. I'm a huge fan of 57 tops and I love the photograph as well. Uh, I love it so much that I have multiples of these. So this is a PSA 3. I think the uh, card has overall really nice eye appeal. Fairly well centered. Soft corners and such. Gonna have issues, but just like the card. You gotta love the card, not the grade, right? But it's never bad to pick up some in decent grades, too. So here's a PSA 6 version of the card with him kind of posing there. Posing there in foul territory at the ballpark, laying down a bunt. So that one's a 6. And I have a third one as well, actually, in a PSA 7. So that one's really solid as well. Really nice card. 57 tops, just excellent looking card. All right, we have 1956 tops in a PSA 6.5. 56 tops is a nice set. Another one with a photo of the player's face and then that action in the back, just that artistic look, facsimile signature. Got to love that play at the plate. So six and a half on that one. Then we have 1955 Bowman in a PSA 7. A lot of people aren't huge fans of 55 Bowman, and it's definitely not my favorite uh, set of all time, but I like it. Don't mind it one bit. Neat card. I think the photograph, the picture used is really nice. So, cool card there. Get 1954 Bowman in a PSA 5. So, another... Nice looking card there. Look at the color of the bat. Kind of looks like a wiffle bat, right? <laughs> Got a 54 tops, PSA 5. Another one with that old Phillies logo with the hat. It says Phillies, the baseball. Always like that logo a lot. Love the little black and white bunning shot there. So, nice. 1954 Red Heart. This is part of the registry, which I did start the registry for this using it as a checklist, and I actually don't think I ever added the last two cards to it because I'm just not as much into the registries as other people. I think they're neat, and I think it's cool that people do them. It's just, I don't know. I, I think they serve well as a checklist, but not really in competition with others. Uh, 54 Red Heart Ashburn PSA 3. Really tough card. This one looks nice. Uh, overall has great appeal for a PSA 3 to me. And uh, to me, I've gotten more and more into uh, lower grade, higher eye appeal vintage, I think is uh, the way to go with vintage. As long as they look great, as long as they look awesome in your collection and you can get them at a really nice price, why not? Here's a uh, popular one here. Gorgeous looking card, 1953 Bowman Color. Richie Ashburn, of course Bowman 53 is a fan of this set. You guys should check out his channel. It's a PSA 5. Gotta love the color in this card. Absolutely gorgeous. Great 
shot of him there in front of the bat rack. Awesome card. 1952 tops PSA 3. Awesome card here. This one actually came from Joe Spice up there in Canada. So, Joe, thank you for uh, adding this to the collection and kind of getting me started on the Ashburn uh, the Ashburn Chase. You hit me up with this a couple years ago. So, absolutely wonderful looking card. Obviously, 52 tops is where uh, kind of the modern era uh, really began with tops. Obviously, Bowman had been making cards for a while and plenty of other sets over the years, but feel like 52 tops kind of changed the game a little bit and got things rolling into the modern kind of era that we have here eventually. So, awesome one there. Never bad to pick up another. Slight centering issues on this card, left to right. But uh, overall, gorgeous looking card and a five and a half. So, really nice one there. Gotta love that card. Some of my favorite Ashburns are the Bowman cards. 52 Bowman, no exception. PSA 5 on that. Another card with great, great eye appeal, great color. Awesome looking card. We got the 1952 Burke Ross in a PSA 4. Nice card. Not exactly crazy with the colors. They have the kind of toned look to them, but still cool. Nice card there in a PSA 4. Hit Parade of Champions. Born in Nebraska. Shout out to Dustin Bellinger. 1951 Burke Ross, Richie Ashburn. This one definitely has a little more color to it. This one's a PSA 3. MC. Obviously a little miscut, but still an awesome card. So, cool one there. This is my favorite Ashburn card, and it's actually one of my lower-graded ones. It's actually a tough card. It's not super cheap, but the 1951 Bowman Ashburn. Absolutely gorgeous colors. Awesome picture. This one, to me, amazing eye appeal. It's only a two. It's definitely not in perfect shape, but, I mean, look at that centering for a card from 1951. And overall, I, I just think it looks great. So... It's one I bought raw, and I knew it was going to grade low, but I just wanted to send it in, get it slabbed, and be part of this slabbed collection. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I can upgrade the grade at some point, but I will absolutely always keep this specific card in my collection. Just a uh, big fan of it, and I love that 51 design. Absolutely wonderful set. Shout out to uh, Bowman1951. It's a 51 Tops Blueback Richie Ashburn, PSA 5. Nice card. This is the first year of Tops. They obviously made more of a game as opposed to the standard baseball cards. Smaller size, but uh, neat looking cards. Not crazy popular, so you can get them at fairly decent prices. So you can get this mid-grade 51, collector's grade, whatever you want to call it, um, at a reasonable price. So nice one there. I'm also a huge fan of 1950 Bowman, and I love the 50 Bowman photograph they used, or picture, because they're more artistic, uh, of Ashburn. This one's a PSA 5. Awesome looking card. I've always enjoyed uh, seeing this card, even back as a kid, before I was ever into vintage. I remember seeing pictures of it. I know they did uh, reprint sets and stuff with it, so awesome card was really excited to pick that up back when I did and as is the case often sometimes if I see a good deal I just can't let it go so I picked up a five and a half as well so awesome awesome card there and then the uh, final one that I have this is courtesy of Blue Jacket 66 check out his channel he's right around a thousand subs last i saw he was just under he probably has exceeded that at this point if not hopefully you can be the one to go put him ahead but a very generous member of this community generous with his time making videos his knowledge and uh sharing uh this hobby with a lot of people sending people amazing stuff and he hit me up with this 49 bowman richie ashburn psa 2 looks awesome does have some creasing and wrinkling in it, but I, you know, 
that's going to happen with old cards. It's not bothersome. The centering is pretty solid. The color is great. That's a fantastic addition to my collection. It's a rookie. It's a must-have. If you're a Phillies collector, if you're a Hall of Fame collector, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to uh, want this baseball card, and I'm uh, ecstatic to have it. So, Dave, thank you so much for that one. It's a beautiful-looking card, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I'm definitely happy to have that. And then the final card that I did not show off, there's a few other Redman tobacco cards out there. This is the 54. It's a PSA 5. Really cool card. I think they made this in 52, 53. Pretty sure they're all pretty similar, except for the year. But 1954 Redman All-Star Series with tab. Really neat. Oversized holder needed for this one. But um, certainly a very neat card to have in the collection. And to me... It's just fun. It's fun to collect. It's fun to have uh, cards that you chase down. It's definitely entertaining and enjoying to build sets, to collect players. I love modern. I love vintage. I love pre-war. I love sports cards, and I really enjoy this community, so I'm really happy to uh, share this with everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to my boy Ray from Philly. I should have mentioned him a little earlier. He's a guy that uh, I talk to a ton in this community. He has an amazing channel and collection as well. And I remember talking to him saying, you know, I had I had a few Ashburns and I was kind of talking to him being like, man, I should really do that Ashburn run. And he was like, yeah, you should. That'll be uh, pretty awesome. So Ray's another guy that helped uh, kind of push me towards doing this. And I'm really happy I did. Awesome, uh, awesome piece of my collection. So just really enjoyed it. Ashburn, a Hall of Fame player. I grew up listening to him uh, do radio and TV for the Phillies. He did pass away in 1997, so I was about 15 years old. I actually remember I learned about it on the bottom line on like ESPN2 or something. I saw like the breaking news, and I saw a blip go by, and immediately um, I think I called my dad, and then uh, I remember watching like the local TV and stuff, so... That was uh, quite the loss back then, but he gave uh, gave a lot to the city of Philadelphia. So there you go. That's my showcase of my Richie Ashburn collection. I do have some other lower-end cards and binders and stuff too, but this is the core of it. So that's it. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the showcase, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.